Well, I've had kind of a really bad week and then this week is going okay. So in my last video I talked about how I had a whole lot of new symptoms and I've been adjusting to that and still learning what's my triggers, what possibly sets me off. And so I found one is doing some certain physical exercise seems to trigger my involuntary movements, my spasms and also my speech problems um, but yesterday I went out to the shops and I found that when I'm under some stress to make some decisions or there's kind of too many decisions I need to make then my brain just kind of shuts down and it was like I don't know if you call it dissociation where it feels like everything's kind of getting dark around me and I'm not controlling it but it's like my brain just wants to shut down and my legs became really weak and basically I had to sit down because I wasn't going to be able to hold up my body anymore and thankfully I had someone with me otherwise I don't know what would have happened but I was able to find a chair nearby and I just sat down and like my body I couldn't really hold myself up and just wanted to curl into nothingness and I wasn't freaking out too much because this has happened before I used to call them exhaustion waves where several times during the day sometimes in the middle of eating a meal or talking with somebody it's like my brain just hits a limit and then it wants to just shut down so I kind of collapse in on myself and just if I try to talk or I try to do something it just doesn't want to happen so yeah so yeah I just had to wait and rest it's like taking a nap but I'm fully aware of everything around me but can't respond or it's just oh that's too much effort that's the kind of feeling that I have so after about half an hour of just sitting there and eyes closed and eventually I could straighten up a bit and felt some more strength and I could open my eyes again and shuffle on to sit somewhere else. So that's the first time I've really seen, oh okay, I was paralyzed by decision making and in that moment I felt the stress come and oh this is too hard, what am I going to do, there's this, 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 oh no what am I going to do, ah uh, I'm overwhelmed, shut down. So I had to wait for a while for my system to hit the refresh, hit the reset button. Um, yeah, so I've worked out two of my triggers. One is the physical exercise and one is like having too many decisions or like it's complicated. I talked uh, with my parents after like about what they observed and it's like if something is too complex and I can't comprehend it, then the brain just kind of can't cope. So that's frustrating because I used to be able to go to the shops no problem, like you would spend 10 minutes of your day doing that and then you go on to do everything else that you need to do. But now for me, I can do about one hour of activity using my brain or like moving around and then I basically I will spend the rest of the day in bed or I have to rest one day. So about one hour of activity equals one day of bed rest. So that's tough, but I'm hoping I can increase, yeah, just gradually pace myself and increase my activity. And the other one, my physiotherapist told me to try increase my reading. So I used to love reading and she said, well, you have to find something that you really enjoy and you want to read and it's fun for you to read so not a bore, boring dry textbook or I like getting a newspaper the Saturday paper but sometimes there's lots of big words and I get discouraged after one paragraph so I just look at the photo and Trump lol okay time for bed but she said you should pick something you really enjoy and since a lot of my books are still overseas so I can't read my favorite books but I went to the library and found some children's books and some of them are still so thick or look difficult so okay maybe I should go back down to picture books and 
yeah, I'm seeing my nephew today and he's super cute. And I thought, okay, in the future, I can borrow some children's picture books and take them to read to him, but it's actually for my own benefit. So yeah, I have to practice reading, do my physical exercise and get back in a good sleep pattern and just, I'm gonna have good days and bad days and it's gonna take a while, but still hopeful that I can, even if I don't 100% recover, but yeah, I guess I've been thinking about my long-term goals and my short-term goals. So I have my long-term goal, which is obviously like 100% full recovery, being able to work full time again. And then I have like, what's my short-term goals? Well, what's halfway of that? Or, so I wonder what for you, what's your long-term goals and what's your short-term goals or what's your goal for this week? That's something that's realistic and achievable and then you can congratulate yourself when you're done. Hello, well I'm out and about today. I'm doing my walk at the moment. So this is the street in my hometown and oh, I'm already tired because it's a really steep hill and I want to show you that when someone says, oh you can just go for a walk. Well, maybe I need to go for a drive to get up a hill and then go for a walk. So yes, yeah, so what I'm proud about for myself today is I talked to my psychologist about some things that happened when I was a child and like if any of those things could be contributing factors for getting functional neurological disorder and someone else in my support group who brought this up that really gave me courage to think okay let's just try talking about this with somebody um, it may have nothing to do with my FND but if something will help me I want to try it that's always been my attitude whether it's exercise whether it's hypnotherapy whatever kind of treatment if it's possible that it will help me I want to try it so yeah I talked with my counselor today about like what kind of potential traumas I might have had in my life or some stressful things and yeah so I I didn't sleep well the past few nights maybe I was thinking about this conversation um, and turning it over in my mind and what do I say oh I don't really want to think about it and yeah then so I talked about some things and it wasn't as bad as I thought at all and yeah my psychologist is really great and she really just listened well and asked good questions and I asked her for her view of the situation and because she's done research about FMD um, and she knows about conversion disorder she used to work in a hospital where there were some conversion disorder patients so yeah so that was really good so I want to say if you're someone who has had a trauma and you know what that is or you have had some difficult things and you're wondering whether or not you should talk about them to your psychiatrist or psychologist or just a friend then do it just do it it might be hard it might be really difficult but if you're in a place where you're ready to do it and there's a chance that it could help you yeah, I hope that you can have someone that you trust, uh, that you know their view of you won't change and you can just talk with them about those things. Yeah, so for me, with my psychologist, we've evaluated like the, my first medical incident where I got sick. And for me, that was the traumatic, like if there was any trauma in my life, rather than things that happened in my childhood, I think that's kind of the incident. Um, so that might be something that I work on in my sessions in the future because I'm still learning what my triggers are. And maybe you can hear some birds in the background. Welcome to Australia! Actually there's quite a few birds if you stop to listen. Isn't this mindfulness? How many different kinds of birds can you hear in the background? 
Oh, there's some sulfur crested cockatoos. I don't think my photography skills are good enough to capture that. But up in the trees behind, it's a bit hard to see. But I'm halfway through my walk anyway, so I'll keep the camera this way. And if you can see them as they go back, then you can enjoy seeing some native wildlife and the screeching of the galahs. That's my favorite type of bird actually, but seems like they're having a territory fight at the moment. They used to um, come into our front yard and just eat off the grass, but I don't think there's anything on our grass anymore. In fact, there's not much grass left. So yeah, that's my win from today is talking with my psychologist about a few things getting some sunshine and yeah today I went I decided to make a reward for myself and this is something I'm thinking about is especially if you have something difficult to do give yourself a reward that when you finished you get to do that thing and maybe your job is even resting like your job is to just do nothing and chill out for a while then give yourself a reward so and a healthy reward don't just eat chocolates which is what I want to do <laughs> but yeah so today my reward is doing some craft that I wanted to do and if I get it done then I'll post the photo um, but other rewards can be playing a game watching TV whatever you enjoy doing do what gives you life and yeah, that you can look forward to doing that thing.